Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome back. Leo, this is going to be your love reading for March. We're going to take a look at what's going on, what you can expect, what's coming forward in your love life. For March 2023. Okay, so let's take a look. What's going on for Leo in March 2023? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, the King of Cups. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Leo. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Three of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Wow, two kings. A lot of energy is going on here. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's... There's something being left behind here. And I feel like the energy... <coughs> With this King of Cups, oh, this King of Cups wants to talk. They want to talk. They want to send you some kind of message. Okay? And this message can be an offer. It can be an offer, a proposal, um, love, romance. But I feel like this is an offer that you can't refuse. Okay? This is something very exhilarating. Something that's getting you moving towards it. Okay, I feel like with this offer that this King of Cups is giving, you want to move forward with this offer. It's like you're, you're thinking a lot about it. You're wanting to move closer. It could be that you and this King of Cups are like a distance away. You could be moving together. I'm getting that maybe you're, you know, moving in or moving closer. And this is something new. This is definitely something new that you're pursuing. And this is a new feeling, a new passion, a new fire. Something more exciting, more exhilarating. Okay, but I feel like this offer that they want to share with you is going to be very beneficial for you. It may be an offer to combine your incomes. Maybe this is a proposal that this King of Cups energy is providing because I'm feeling like you're like moving into a space to where <clears throat> there's more give and take you know so there, there's something that's being shared there's some kind of gift that's being offered okay um, let me look more into this give me more of a message but I feel like you're growing um, but with this king of, with this, excuse me, three of wands energy and this nine of swords, I feel like there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of movement, a lot of thinking, a lot of preparation. Okay. You're preparing for some kind of move, some kind of shift in your current situation. Like, I'm, I'm really getting that you may be moving in together. You may be um, traveling. Okay? But I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of talking. Um, a lot of planning. I feel like you're both spending... Maybe you're both going half 
on this situation. It's very interesting. Leo, you're coming out very strong. Strong energy. I'm really feeling like this is a this is a shift in something that you've really been working on for a long time. Um, you've really been preparing for this, whatever this is, and now the time has come for you to kind of make that move to, you know, do what this is that you've been planning. So all your plans are starting to take action. And I think that's where this Six of Pentacles is coming in at. Because I feel like you're sharing in the expenses. You're sharing in the um, adventure. This is maybe the first time you've lived together. So I'm really getting that you're sharing this new experience. Okay. <clears throat> and the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking away from an old life and you're starting something brand new. You're walking away from the old you and you're becoming something totally different. So I'm really feeling there's some kind of union with this Eight of Cups energy and this Nine of Cups. There's some kind of union happening here. You're walking towards this night. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you are coming into this space where, you know, you're walking towards this King, excuse me, this Knight of, of Cups energy, and it's making you feel more relaxed more focused on what needs to be done you and I, I'm getting a feeling that there's more responsibility but I feel like you are enjoying it you're enjoying the responsibility you're enjoying this new adventure because um, I feel like you and this person are collaborating you're working together you're making things happen. Okay? And I feel like a lot more things are going to be happening. Wow. A lot more things are going to be happening for you, Leo. This is a soulmate energy. This is you being very happy in your situation. Um, you found your companion, your union, your sacred union. Um... Beautiful. You've made a choice. You've come to a decision. You were at a crossroads. And I feel like you had your choice between your old life and your new life. And you chose this two of cups. You chose love. Because I feel like it feels right. It feels very content. You know? You found your happiness, your abundance. Your wishes being fulfilled. So now I feel like you're starting on this new journey, this new life, this new adventure. Um, <clears throat> in this situation. And... Now you're able to finally relax. Maybe you were trying to, maybe you and your love were separated for a while and you had to find a place together. Or, you know, I feel like you were apart for some time. You were living in two different destinations or two different places. Okay? But now with this Two of Cups energy, I feel like those places are now combined. You know, 
see. <clears throat> Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So I feel like, you know, there's some hesitation. But I feel like you, you're you at this beginning stage. You may be growing into this situation. Especially with this Three of Wands energy here. I feel like that's growth and expansion. You may want to take a look at the Sagittarius reading because the Sagittarius reading was very similar. So if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, you might want to take a look at that. Okay. We have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So there may be someone who has a crush on you that you're not aware of. Um, I don't think it has to do with the situation, but I do feel like there is someone who secretly is crushing on you. They have some feelings for you. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So I feel like this person that you're moving forward with really cares very deeply for you. I'm, I'm feeling like this person is very playful, very um, sassy. You know, it could be a male or a female. Um, but I feel like they're, they're very feisty, very outgoing. They may have fire in their sign as well, somewhere in their chart. But I'm feeling a fire. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light and creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. <clears throat> so yeah, when the when those thoughts kind of drift in, I feel like you know, you just need to take a step back and kind of take it how it comes, you know? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. So yeah, I feel like that new path that you're on, this is something new for you. This is something that, you know, maybe you've lived with people before or maybe you've you know, this isn't your first time, but I feel like this is your first time maybe with this person. So I, I feel like it's it's still a new journey because you're still getting to know each other's likes and dislikes, making good choices, you know, keeping the the love on fire, you know, collaborating and sharing. You know, you're finding new ways to do that. I look for you everywhere. So, <clears throat> I feel like this person that, that you're with, or that you will meet, is very, I mean, they're crushing on you strong. They think about you a lot. I know I crossed the line with you. Hmm. And now I feel like this is a feisty person, so maybe they've said something that you're like, whoa, wait a minute, what? You know? So I, I feel like this person kind of speaks faster than they think. So sometimes they think like they're overstepping their bounds or they're, you know, may say something to upset you. I regret lying to you. Wow. Very interesting. <clears throat> Just being near you is intoxicating. <laughs> we both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah, I feel like maybe you're a little laid back, Leo. And this person is very feisty. So they feel like you kind of don't match. You know? Oh. 
but I love you. So I feel like the passion between you and this person is very strong. Um, like I said, I feel like this person is very outgoing, very feisty, very sassy, um, very playful. And I feel like you could be a little bit more laid back, you know, going with the flow. You know, and sometimes the things that this person says kind of catches you off guard. Okay? Um, but I feel like they have good intentions. They just speak much faster than they think about what they're going to say. You know? <clears throat> we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things are coming to light. Adapt and change. So I feel like this is a huge change that you're going through. This is something that you're going to have to adapt into, especially if you're moving in with each other. If, you know, maybe you're spending more time together, getting to know each other even better. There's going to be little things that you have to adapt to. Okay? <clears throat> And we have the palm tree. Stability, security, permanent growth, and endurance, flexibility. So definitely, I think that you're finding that there's you're, you're standing more on stable ground now. You're feeling much better about the things around you. You have abundance. So I feel like, you know, you're, you're growing into this. You'll be able to push back past any obstacles, any challenges, because you're preparing for this union with this person, you know, um, and there are going to be obstacles, there are going to be challenges, but I feel like you'll get through them just fine. Okay, let's get another card. What's going on with Leo and love? Success. Beautiful. <clears throat> Listen to your intuition. And we have unlikely. There's something that's going to be unlikely that you have a question to. And we have let go. So... And I'm feeling like that's saying let go to any preordained preparedness that you may have. <laughs> because I feel like with this person, that's all out the window. There's nothing that you can be prepared for. It's just going to be how it is. But you have abundance twice here. So I feel like um, you're going to find a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, a lot of growth. The situation will improve. Okay, so I feel like the Spirit is letting you know that you will adapt to the way this person goes about things. But I feel like it's still a new journey. So whoever this person is coming into your life, Leo, I feel like it's going to be very exciting at times, very exhilarating. It's going to be like a fresh start. Okay. So this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have all of the March readings up. So take a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising, and your Venus if you know that. That will give you more more messages on what's going on for March. Okay? And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.